in each case has its own context. Uh, I have been part of over 150 cases. Most of the cases were in the prison. The few cases I came to court, maybe some few dozens, uh, have, have a context to it. And the context is within a society, is within a courtroom, is within uh, an understanding or misunderstanding of Sharia. So we have to deal uh, with different issues. So you are not only a lawyer, you become a psychologist, you become a historian, you become everything when you are handling a case. My name is Hawa Ibrahim. I became a lawyer 24 years ago. My strength has been in the courtroom. I was a prosecutor for eight years, and after prosecution, being a prosecutor for eight years, I became a defense counsel in my state of Bauchi, where there are no female lawyers. I decided that I will open up a legal chambers, and I did that for the first two years. I had no client, and that was 1996, October. I had no clients, and I had to start being creative and I opened a clinic for women and children, legal clinic, uh, which I ran for two years. So when we started the cases of, uh, of Sharia, mainly women sentenced to die by stoning, or children sentenced to have their limbs amputated, there was no material for us to lay our hands on, there was no precedent. When I thought about the book initially was the how to do for lawyers. I mean, how did I do it and how can I help other lawyers do it? So it's like giving them a tool uh, to go to the field. So the content of the book is generally looking at the dynamics of the Sharia itself, the new Sharia, the dynamic of the mullahs and the court system, the dynamic of the society and the victims or the clients we have, but most importantly, to work within Sharia to achieve results in the Sharia courts. So my hope is that those materials will be in the hands of lawyers and in the hands of judges. And so when it comes to distribution, my focus is the judges and the lawyers. Because if they are able to get this material, then they can be more informed in trying a case of Sharia in any given court. My clients have one thing in common, all of them. They are voiceless, just like me. They were powerless, just like me. They are poor, just like me. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> and they were illiterate, and that is the only dividing line between the, 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 all of us, between my clients, <coughs> myself, all my friends and I, is the little literacy that I have that they don't have. So I use it to go to court to argue the cases. So this is what was on my mind when I thought, you know, let me put out something in writing that could help lawyers and judges. And what I was thinking of is how to do, how to argue a case. And so I, the book is titled Practicing Sharia Law, Seven Strategies for Achieving Justice in Sharia Courts. Okay? And I'll mention the strategies very briefly, and you can see the point of where I was, I was sort of submerging. So my strategy number one, I had almost all the words that I have used in this book in this week. The strategy number one was that how do we understand the dynamics? The dynamic of the Sharia, the dynamic of the society, the dynamic of the mullahs, the dynamic of the clients. Just mention it, how do we understand it? But beyond understanding the dynamics, how do we work within the dynamics? And I was making a first How do you work within? And the strength of our case is working within Sharia. Almost all our cases, we argue them in under Sharia penal law, and we won the case in Sharia courts. Did you hear that? Mm -hmm. We won the case in Sharia courts, and we use Sharia to argue Sharia. The second uh, dynamics I was uh, mentioned in the book is how do you pay attention to details? Some of you will understand that if we go to our villages to do to gather data or to do research, and in some of our villages, if you enter a room with a, with, with a shoe, you have lost completely your audience. <laughs> some of you have found it, huh? Because the room is a sacred place. It's a praying space. Or if they give you water and the water looks different, 
and you don't drink it, you have lost it too. So what is it in your dynamics that you can learn and try to use it contextually? How do you become firm and flexible? For us, how do we become firm on issues of law? Well, it has to do with the principles of law, equality, supremacy of, of, of the constitution, for example, separation of state and religion, certainty of law, independence of the judiciary. How do we become firm when it comes to issues of law? And how do we become flexible when it comes to dealing with society? So my strategy number four is how do you become focused on an issue and stay focused on that issue? How do you have a focus? What is your hypothesis? What is your question? How do you remain focused on that? Even though you are trying to understand it from different perspectives, but how do you remain focused? For us as lawyers, we had the microphone and the, and the cameras, and we were like, um, but what do you think about clash of civilization? Don't you think what is happening in the Sharia court is a clash of civilization? Oh, no, no, no. What do you think about the West versus Islam? Now, we don't know about that. We don't know about clash of civilization. We don't know about West versus Islam. One thing we know, and only one thing we know, we have a woman that has been sentenced to die by stoning. And we are using the Islamic law to get her justice to share her case. That we know, that we can speak to. How do you stay focused? What is your strength? For me, my strength is the law. I eat it, I try to eat it, I digest it, I want to breathe it. But the dynamics are not the same. We all have our different points of our dynamics. How do we use it and play within it? My strength is the law, and understanding the law was very vital. Know your strength. Play with your strength to get you to your destination. And the last strategy is how do you think global and act local and act immediately? Mm -hmm. So for, for me, as a lawyer, how do I think global within the context of a society that is diverse? Practice that is diverse. How do you think global? How do you try to bring it home? It could be within the context of society, but it's also a context of law. To win the case in court is, is very important because the fact that we were in court, the tension in the society is off. But that is not where the matter right lies. The most important place to win the case is the heart and mind of the villagers. Now, if Amina or Safia or any of our clients was unable to go back to their villages, then we have lost the case woefully. And so our biggest strategy, which the book really addressed, was how do you win the hearts and mind of the villagers so that people that you are able to free in the court can go back and live a normal life. Uh, I want to live any space I am better than I have found it. And that drives me crazy. I want to change something. I want to make something different.